يمس بلا الستر يمن حكمك العدل سري وعفو الدين كاتيكا شانل يتو يا نور المصطفى تكيو كاتيكا بوندلزو وفي بندي فيديو يما سومو يا زيادة لو هي تتنتلية نا ليلي ليلي نا سومو لاتو لا بيولوجي So today we discuss about the topic of classification in the level of form 2 uh, in the topic of classification subtopic kingdom plantae. So today we discuss about the kingdom plantae. Okay. Kingdom plantae is made up of plant. Kingdom plantae is made up of plant. The following are general characteristics of kingdom Plantae. One, they are multicellular organism. Means kingdom plantae made up of several cells because the cells are divided into two. Some of organism made up by uh, many cells, which are called the multicellular organism, like a plant and animal, and the other is made up by one cell are uh, called the unicellular organism, like yeast and others. So the kingdom plantae are multicellular. Organism. Also, they are eukaryotic cells. Means their cell, when we say eukaryotic cell, eukaryotic cell is the type of cell in which cells are bounded with nuclear bonded membrane. So the nuclear of plant cell is surrounded by nuclear membrane. Another one, they are eukaryotic organism. They are eukaryotic organism. When we say eukaryotic organism, are those organisms which manufacture their own food. So the plant manufacture their own food by the process called the photosynthesis. Okay? Also, they store food in form of starch. They store food in form of starch. So the plant store food in form of starch, like uh, animals store food in form of glycogen, as well as uh, fungi store food in form of glycogen. Another one, uh, they are organized into tissue, organ, and a system. So the organism here uh, have a cells, have a tissue, have organ, and have a system. Also, they show limited growth, for example, opening and closing of flower petal of growth movement toward the stimulus. So they show limited movement. They move. Okay. Now, let us to discuss about it, the division of kingdom plantae. There are four divisions of kingdom plantae. One is bryophyte, second is philicinophyte or peridophyte, another one is coniferophyta, and the last one is spermatophyta. So those of them are division of kingdom plantae. Okay, let us to cross check one by one till the end. One. Now let us to discuss about the division bryophytes. So division bryophyte, this division include moss and liverwort. So now let us to discuss the general characteristics of bryophytes. Okay, by starting the one point is they generally small in size. For example, mosses and f have a few thick. One, they are generally small in size. Second one, they have a leaf like structure called the thalab, thalus, and root like structure called the rhizoids. And root uh, and leaf have, have no true leaves. By summary, they have no true root, true leaf, and true stem. Okay, also they lack vascular bundle or they lack vascular system. Like when you say vascular system in the tissue, which are, which are xylem and phloem, this tissue is responsible for, like xylem, responsible for absorption of water and the mineral salt and it transported it from the root up to the, up to the leaf for photosynthesis. Also, phloem tissue. This is the tissue responsible for conduction of manufactured food from the source, means from the leaf to the sink, like root, stem, and other body parts. So the bryophyte lack vascular system, means lack vascular bundle. Another one, bryophytes 
are called are called uh, uh, some some organism in graphite are commonly found in most areas such as the river, the bank, and other. So they live on the shady areas. Another one, they show alternation generation. They show alternation generation means they have a two distinctive phases of the life cycle. They have a gametophyte and have a sporophytes. Okay. Now, let us to show or let us to discuss about the for mosses. Mosses is the one among the plants which are belong in division bryophytes. So, now let us to discuss about the mosses. Mosses consist of stem like structures also mosses uh, productive part of mosses are antheridium and arachigonium means antheridium is the male organ and arachigonium is the female organ also uh, zygote zygote when you say zygote uh, zygote develop into the young sporophyte plant which grow still attach to the antheridium so this one they undergo uh, sexual and uh, asexual reproduction they undergo both sexually and uh, asexual reproduction so they use water for sexual reproduction means uh, the sperm is transmitted from the male parts into the female parts by using water that's why we call it uh, uh, bryophyte sometimes are called the amphibian of plant because they depend on water for sexually reproduction. Also, uh, when a mature sporophyte become capsule, the structure, now let us to show the structure of a bryophyte. Here, you see that they are a capsule, another one they have a setter, also they have a leaves, and finally have a rhizoid or root like, like structures. So the structure, the structure of, of, of bryophyte consists of arachigonium, yeah, means male part, and antheridium means female parts. So here we see that they have a capsule, they have a steto, or they have a, another one have parts of rhizoid, and the final one have a thallus or thallus. So now let us to see the advantages of Moses plant. After seeing that the characteristics of bryophyte, now after discussing the uh, characteristics of moss plant, moss plant we have already said that uh, moss plant is the one among the plant which are found or belong in division bryophyte. So now let us to discuss the advantages of moss plant. One, helping in the composition of dead organic matter. Help in the composition. So like, uh, like other animals, most plants decompose dead organic matter. Therefore, they kill or they destroy all decaying organic matter. Also, most plants save a pioneer plant on bare ground and help to create a suitable, suitable environment for growth and development of other plants. So here, act uh, most plants act as paunia. Paunia is the organism which initiates the life of other of other plant. Okay. Another, most retain a lot of water. So most plants help to retain a lot of, a lot of water. Help to maintain water in, a, in, the, in, the, in the land. Also, in a prevent, uh, in a prevent due to preservation of water in the soil, help in soil erosion so prevent soil uh, against the other uh, agent of erosion also uh, uh, most plant provide shelter for other organism some of organism like bacteria and other they use they use a uh, most plant for as to act as a or act as a part of survival or act as a house or shelter for for their development and reproduction of those organism also, some birds, uh, uh, some birds and mammal use mosses act as nesting material. Nesting material. They use uh, for uh, they use this mosses plant for uh, for building of other of other of other houses. 
Uh, the final one, uh, other, 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 other mosses act as fuel for certain organism. So some of organism they use are like mammal, they use uh, mosses for, for production of heat and they use for other, other purpose. Okay, what are the disadvantages of mosses plant? One, most plant occur or mosses occur as weeds in the garden. They destroy, they hinder the development of other garden. So because they act as weeds, so can, uh, can destroy or can hinder the development of this uh, of that organism like a plant. Also, some, some uh, mosses ground, mosses growing around the pond and the small water. So here can cause is completely become what? It can destroy the water areas and destroy the, uh, the that parts of the water. Okay. Now let us discuss the second second division called the Felicino Felicinophyta. So the second one is uh, Felicinophyta or Terido Teridophyte. Okay. Uh, example of organism belong in this division are commonly is fans plant. So now let us discuss the characteristics of fan plant. One, they have a vascular system like phloem and xylem. We have already discussed about the brow fight and you say that they have no true vascular system here have a vascular system, means they have a developed xylem and phloem. Okay, xylem used for transportation of water from the source or from the root into the, into the, into the leaves for photosynthesis and the phloem are uh, used to transport manufactured food from the source, means leaf, to the sink in the other parts of the body. Okay, also fun, another characteristic fun have uh, leaves stem and roots. The fern have a stem, have a leaves and have a roots. Okay? Another one, the life cycle involve alternation generation. The life cycle involve alternation generation mean that involve gametophyte and sporo sporophytes. Another one, the sperm, uh, the, the sperm swim to the female through water. Also, they use water for sexually reproduction. The sperm go direct to the female part through, uh, directly by using, by using water. That's why I call it a amphibia of a certain, certain plant. Okay. Another one, they produce spores. The fern pro, a plant is have a spore. Called the, uh, the, the fern's plant has a spore producing organ called the sporangium. This is sporangium uh, arranged the, and to produce the, the spore-like structure called the sori. So the fern have a sporangium for production of, of sori. Okay, the fern plant have a root, have a stem, and have a shoot system. Okay, sori found in, uh, found in, in, the, in the leaves, and after the leaves, the whole leaves from the top up to the top up to the bottom. This one is called the front. Uh -huh. Now let us to discuss about the advantages of fans. Advantages of fan. One, some fans are used as a charcoal, as a paper coal, as a coals for cooking processes. Also, some fans used by a uh, decoration of our house or for gardening. Also, ferns serve a, a, act as a food for certain organism. And the last one, uh, some ferns are used as a house for other organism or used as a shelter for other organism. So here we see that there are five uh, advantages. The first one for use for ornament means they use the for for decoration. Also, it used as a source of food for other organism. Also, act as shelter for other organism. Also, used as a coil for cooking, and also as a weight of food for other organism.
What are the disadvantages? The disadvantages of this division or this funds plant. Some funds, fund can found as a weeds, is a weeds in many places. It is a weeds for me in many, in many places. Therefore, they cause competition of food for other organisms like plants. So here can destroy other organism because they act as a weeds. Another one, some fan reproduce, do not reproduce with seed. So some fans do not reproduce with seeds. Therefore, they, they, uh, they need the speed match, the speed match to produce many, many, many organisms. So because they do not use seeds, therefore they produce, they produce in many, in many or in large number. Therefore, by summarizing this topic today, today uh, we have all discussed about the uh, kingdom plantae. Kingdom plantae, we have all discussed that. the characteristics of kingdom plantae. One among of them is the eukaryotic cells, or eukaryotic cells. Another one, they undergo autotrophic nutrition. Another one is multicell organism. Also, they store food in form of chitin. Final one, they have a cellulose made up by they have a cell wall made up of cellulose. Also, we classify uh, there are uh, division division of kingdom kingdom plantae. One among of them, we say that kingdom plantae uh, have a div have a four division. The first one is king, uh, division bryophyte. The second one is felicinophyte. The last one, uh, third one is coniferophyte, and the last one is uh, uh, angiospermophyte or spermato spermatophyte. Point to note that. We say that both bryophyte and philosophite, they use water for sexual reproduction. That's why we call it amphibia of certain plant. So question will come. Why bryophyte and philosophite are called the amphibia of certain plant? Answer is uh, you must, they need water for sexual reproduction for transmission of sperm from the male up to the female, female part. Having said that, thank you and goodbye.